All right, everybody, welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. We are at Mid Ohio with the black car and uh, about to head out on track. This car hasn't been on a track in over two years, it's only been at the track with Lee twice. So, we're gonna go shake it down, or Lee's gonna go shake it down, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So, stay tuned and let's uh, let's hope for the best. On the racetrack with race cars. Lots and lots of race cars. So uh, here we go. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have onboard video because with the other car I could pull the video out of the data system and we didn't have time to get my other cameras on it. Didn't want to have a, a lot of extra stuff to mess with. We want to just kind of focus on the car. So we're gonna go run this session, just put as many laps in as we can so that Lee can kind of feel this car out. Like I said, it's been two years since he was been in the car. So hopefully we have some onboard data. If uh, not, I'll get some onboard data for you next time. But it's about time to head out on track and then, so then we'll look at some data and figure out what we need to do to go faster. Scooter race to pit road is kind of funny. It is. Well, let's see what happens. I thought you guys might like the, the scooter race to pit road. Like, we follow the cars and then we pull down onto, you know, behind the wall for our pits. Hey, what's our pit number? I got that paperwork right here. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, All right, well, go get him, Lee. So we're having a transponder issue. Might be broken. A little green light was on when we left, so not sure what the deal is with that. But uh, we had to hand clock it. And 31.7. Okay, that's in the ballpark. So 31.7. Seems like the rest of the cars in our class are running 31s and 32s, so we're kind of in the range. Not too bad for shaking down a brand new car.
Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so Lee's happy, which makes us happy. And um, we uh, need to look at the data, get our transponder working, and then we'll see if we can go faster for qualifying later this afternoon. All right, well, obviously, didn't have any video from that last session, but this time, I think I've got the onboard data working and we're putting a camera up there. So we've got two cameras. We also had a problem with our transponder, which I think I fixed with the transponder because the green light is staying on now instead of it turning off. But we also have a rental transponder on the car because if we don't get a time for qualifying, we have to start at the back of the field. And if we go into the race without a transponder working, we don't get to scored any laps. So more double transponder, double cameras, we think we're good. And we also added 150 horsepower with stickers. Drew went to town. And uh, actually that's stickers that we have to run for the Trans Am series. Believe it or not, we will actually be served a penalty if we do not have all of the contingency stickers on the car. So we've got to drop the car on the ground, torque the wheels, set the final tire pressures. And we're headed off to qualifying. You clear, Drew? What you need? Coming down. All right, well, I'm gonna put the final touch on the tire pressures, which every single tire gets a different pressure with the goal of when they come up to temperature, they're all the same pressure. Because each tire doesn't get to the same temperature, so it builds heat differently than the other tire. This track is mostly right-hand turns, so the left side tires build more pressure. So we start the right side tires higher than we do the left side tires. We also start the rears lower than the fronts because that's where all the power is being put down and the rears will build more pressure than the fronts. So every single corner is a different tire pressure. And the goal is that they're all the same at the end of the session. Here we go. Street car. Go, go, go. You guys can see we got some new tires on for qualifying. Specially matched and staggered special. That's right. So we have to race with the same tires that we qualify on. Every session, the tires get worse. So there's a lot of stuff we've got to work out data wise and things because new tires build pressure faster than used tires. We also are only going to run probably four laps and it usually takes eight laps to for the tires to build full pressure. So it's an educated guess on getting them staggered pressure wise so that they come up and they're just right at the end of session. Kind of a bit of a crap shoot sometimes, but when you check it after the run and they're all the same pressure to the 10th, that's kind of cool. Doesn't happen every time. Doesn't happen most of the time, but it happens sometimes. And that's the goal to be perfect. Hopefully we definitely have some on board this time. Let's see you on the car. Not too bad. We ended up uh, P2 behind uh, one of the Porsches. So, not terrible. We're only two tenths behind him, so really close. Should be 
real exciting on race day tomorrow. So yeah, I guess we'll see what we can do then. All right, well it is race day and uh, we are ready to go racing, including that guy right there. He's ready. You ready to go race, bud? You ready to go race? So I'm taking the car down to grid. Lee's putting his suit on, getting ready to go. They're coming down in 10 or 15 minutes to hop in the car down on pit road. They kind of do a little fan walk deal for everybody that comes to the race. You have the opportunity to go down and walk through all the cars, see them all close together at the same time instead of being spread out through all the pit area. So I'm gonna haul this thing down to pit road. Then it'll be race time. Rolling to the grid. It's a little tough to shift and film all at the same time. Here at the beautiful Mid Ohio Sports Car Course. In just a second we'll go down to pit road all right so the word was there was going to be two warm-up laps there was only one so we're racing and uh, i'm over at turn five which is kind of weird because it's turn one for the start of the race but now we're coming through and i hear them coming
in P2, but Lee is reeling him in. Early three seconds behind him, making up almost a second per lap. There's the Porsche we're chasing. Right, so there was a caution and bunched everything up. Been kind of some weird mix-ups with people passing under caution and they're trying to fix it. There's only gonna be five or six laps to go once we go green, so it should be pretty exciting. We'll see. All right, well, we had another caution, and there is only going to be one lap of green racing. So we ended up behind second place because of a little mix up on pit road, it happens. And uh, we are right behind second, but he's right behind first. We've been faster than the both of them, so we're gonna try to get a win here. Well, this will be an exciting last lap, if nothing else. Come home P2. Pretty exciting race. Ended up back kind of where we were fighting for. Almost got that win. 
in second place in that black Dodge Viper, two-time SGT champion. Let's hear it, Lee Saunders. And then, ladies and gentlemen, as Cary Grant would say, pops back up on top in Masters and first place in SGT. Let's hear it, Milton Grant. Lee Saunders, welcome back. Not the Viper that we're used to seeing, but how was that one? Uh, it did uh, did really good for uh, what time we had. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was in a, in a Grant sandwich today, so uh, <laughs> it was a ton of fun, though. They raced us really clean, crazy crazy restarts, and uh, yeah, like like Kerry said, I thought I had a flat. We came in, and uh, turns out it was just pickup, so crazy day, but they uh, just did an awesome job. Milton did a great job, and I'd like to thank, thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ too, Kerry, uh, just for a wonderful day out here and opportunity to do this. And the KSR crew, they thrashed to get that car together. Kevin, Drew, those guys are awesome. Uh, I think they've had a couple hours sleep in the last four days, so uh, <laughs> three, yeah, three or four. So again, thanks to them and thanks for Trans Am for putting this on. Awesome. I love it, Lee Saunders. You know, Mid Ohio Sports Car Course is a special course when it can be Porsches and Vipers pulling about the same lap times. I love it, Milton Grant. Obviously, it takes a lot of faith to run in Super GT. Let's hear for these men of faith, Cary Grant, Lee Saunders, Milton Grant. I think this is Cary Grant, 150 race starts, is that right? And Milton, just a few, it seems like seasons ago, you were at 500 race starts. So unbelievable up here, Super GT. All right, fans, crowd, let's get loud. One more time, Super GT, Cary Grant, Lee Saunders, and Milton Grant, and first place in Masters. That is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, we've got a gentleman's podium, even with father, son, hey, Ken Twaits, Two out of three, Tennessee right here. It's pretty good. Lee, congratulations. Welcome back. Milton, awesome job. And Kerry, am I right? 150 race starts? Nice. All right, so after we wrapped up the Trans Am race, we buzzed over to Norwalk, Ohio for the NHRA uh, Top Fuel Race. I'm not even sure which one it is, but it's a national event. Clay's running. We think we got here before his last qualifying run, but maybe not. We're all tired because we just ran from the parking lot. I don't know if we're going to see his last run or not. But if not, or either way, we're still going to go hang out with him in the pits a little bit. So, oh well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, we didn't quite make the run, but uh, we made it to Clay's pits and we're hanging out. So, got to come hang out with him. It's always good hanging out with friends at the racetrack. I encourage you guys to do that with your friends. And it doesn't take a top fuel dragster to go to the racetrack to go have fun. Take your car out there, just like you took your truck to the track not that long ago. Check out one of Clay's last videos where he went to Memphis, ran his uh, Baby D truck, and uh, went and had some fun with it. And it was more hanging out with family and friends than it was than it was racing. So yeah, I was reminded in the comments that it was a pig. It did a great burnout and just didn't did, go very fast. Did do a good burnout, <laughs> but they don't always go right first time no, to the track. No, so no, that's for sure, but you're right, 100%. I mean, anytime you can go to your track, you gotta go. I don't care what it is, just yep. go, just yep. go. Hanging yeah. out is kind of the best part of it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this racing stuff, a lot of the racing stuff isn't really about the cars. It's about hanging out with people, friends, family, and coming out and having a good time and meeting new people. And that's, that's the fun for me. I mean, I love bench racing. Yeah. Bench racing is awesome. I mean, it's. Yep. Which is what we did in that video with Baby D, just hung out and told stories. And, yep. And the truth is, You've been here about an hour, and that's all we've done. Yeah, been trying. Just hanging out, <laughs> chit-chatting, looking at looking at the car, seeing some neat stuff. Like these things are still amazing to me. Like they're very simple as far as the engine. I mean, it's mechanical injection, yep. and then you got a distributor or a magneto stuck in them. But all of that is managed by this trickery up here, and like this stuff is all very high tech. So. You know, for the data nerd in me, there's a huge bundle of wires down the chassis of this car. I mean, I'm sure it didn't used to be that way back in the yeah. 70s and 80s. They were super simple, 
but there's a lot of technology to run a pretty simple simple car so super cool super cool stuff but you got eliminations tomorrow we do and yeah, number man. 12 spot it's kind of weird so last year first time in my life i had to actually take myself out of the race car i've driven with stitches i've driven with broke bows i even drove, drove one time with an iv bag inside my fire suit with my dehydrated oh uh, okay yeah and uh last year i had a basically what ended up being a double ear infection and through i your balance off or something through my, yeah well, i was bad i huh. made one lap and uh i found out why it's against the law of drink and drive i don't drink at all yeah but felt like you felt like i was drunk. Drunk. yeah <laughs> so uh we put Austin Brock in the car who did not have a ride at the time. Okay. And maybe somehow, some way, John Force put him in a car, which is cool. Yeah. And that's who I raced tomorrow. So first round. The super sub is what I call him. He's a good kid. Yeah. He is yeah. a kid. So that's who we're racing first round tomorrow. So that's kind of cool. Heck yeah. Well, definitely good luck on that tomorrow. It'll we'll be. be a good day. I get to be. While this video is coming out, because I think I'm going to edit it tonight while I'm driving home. We're gonna be driving home to Florida. Like I said in my video, I think, our flights got canceled and we had to drive up here Thursday night. So we're, uh, we're definitely a little tired. But Clay's got some racing to do. So check out his channel for all the updates on that. And um, I brought some stickers and they're out in the truck. We gotta put my stickers back on, but I don't, know, I don't know if I'm gonna go get them or not. We might just do it next year at the Gators or something. I don't know. We'll figure, we'll figure something well, out. Well, I'll tell you what. As many people got wound up about it. They did, didn't they? They, they did. They did. I mean, they did not understand how that works. That was a big decal. Yeah, and it you was. You know what people forgot? I did the same thing with Chris and Kyle. Yeah, yeah. And nobody said a word. But for you, now they got wound up about it. I don't get it. <laughs> I appreciate you guys getting excited about that. I mean, it's, it's super cool. And like... But I knew the deal going in. Like, that sticker couldn't stay there because that's some pretty valuable real estate on these cars. I mean, even just to have, like, there's a new camera deal right there on the top of the car. This right here. And, um, you know, if you look, there's, there's decals that are within range of that camera. And this little tiny bit of real estate right here is worth a lot of money. Yeah, there it is there. Like, everywhere. Yeah. like patches on the shirt oh like, absolutely all that stuff and these things, this exposure that these cars bring it's worth stuff to companies that are trying to advertise stuff it's the same with nascar formula one all these big races so it's super cool to know somebody that's a pro at this here i am just getting to play race cars and you guys are getting to follow along so yeah, these that's... things run on money it's not nitro i promise yeah that's, that's yeah. definitely it so that's going to wrap up this video. Appreciate everybody watching. See you guys next time.